Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and today in this video I want to say just how spiritual it is to um, detoxify and cleanse your body of toxins that limit. You've heard of limiting beliefs, right? Do you know how limiting toxins are? Toxins get in the way of so many positive emotions and feelings. <laughs> toxins are very limiting. They get in the way of positive emotions and feelings. They get in the way of joy, love, happiness and laughter and good relationships. And they create disease, sickness and unhealth. So why is it that in today's community, for some reason, we separate spirituality with physicality and we somehow think they're just separate? There's nothing more spiritual for me than all of the things we call spiritual, but also looking after our body. It makes no sense to have limiting beliefs. That's not spir considered spiritual in the New Age community at all. It hampers abundance, it hampers empowerment, it hampers prosperity on all levels, body, mind, spirit, relational, peace and everything. But so do toxins, everyone, and so does being malnourished. Mm -hmm. If you want to be spiritual, I'd recommend, and I suggest learning about so you can choose for yourself rather than just believing me, I'd recommend and suggest eating a diet that suits us humans anatomically, which is fruits and greens the most. It's called a raw food vegan diet. That's what I would recommend the most and the best I've ever experienced. I've eaten meat, I've eaten dairy, I've eaten cheese, I've eaten a carnivorous or meat-eating diet. I've eaten one that includes dairy, cheese, yogurt, and egg. I've eaten one that doesn't include them, which is vegan cooked, and I've, and I've had eaten one that doesn't include any of that, which is a raw vegan diet. I've eaten one that focuses on fruits and that focuses on on exclusively fruits and it didn't suit me the best it's okay it's good it cleans but it doesn't fill in nutritional deficiencies which so many of us have because of toxins as the number one reason from artificial food and toxins in our environment and secondly and um, from simply not eating food that has proper electromagnetic magnetism and nutrients which is raw living foods cooked food does not have to buy a photon high frequency energy and so many of the nutrients hormones, oxygen, enzymes are being destroyed completely. Even minerals and vitamins are being denatured and destroyed too. Where is the spirituality now? Where is the sense? I gotta be honest with you guys. The reason why people do not eat a raw vegan diet is one lack of information because the powers that be, the number one way of controlling us and, and suppressing us and is through disinformation and lies and deceit in the educational system in changing history and in the media, which they totally control. So don't get sad about that. It's cool. It's the way it is. Play the game. Live your life. Get empowered. Be happy about learning and, and making a healthier, happier life for yourself. Be happy learning. Not not like sad and miserable about learning information that's inconvenient. Don't view it that way. Get excited and happy to be learning information that's empowering. Even if it is a bit inconvenient, it's exciting and fulfilling and to overcome obstacles and to to learn and to overcome things that at the beginning can seem inconvenient, such as learning about the powers that wear, or the powers that be that are changing, the old world order, and then learning about a proper species-specific diet. Every animal on the planet eats a species-specific diet. You don't see hedgehogs eating grasshoppers, or maybe you do, I don't know their diet. A hedgehog, I think, is an omnivore. We are frugivores, everyone, fruit, raw foods. Now, the, the other reason why people do not eat a raw living food vegan diet is because, so one is because of disinformation and lies and misdirection by the powers of be. The second one is because people are damaged and addicted. Their bodies are damaged, they're very malnourished, they're addicted, they're full of toxicity. And as you detox, you crave what you're detoxing. As you're nutritionally deficient, you crave dirt. Do you ever, do you ever see um, um, women, um, pregnant women craving um, like dirt? Or do you ever see animals eating dirt, like muck? It's because they're, they're, they're nutrient deficient. So our pets are not on their natural diet either. For the most people who don't know about it, they give them all sorts of rubbish from the store and they get sick like humans. Um, animals in the wild, like wildebeest eating grass, uh, crocodiles eating you know meat, they do not get like diabetes, hypertension. They don't need blood pressure tablets. <laughs> they don't need like to get a tumor removed from them. Because humans get, have all these illnesses and eczema and psoriasis. Like, which crocodile has eczema and psoriasis or a baboon? None of them. Because they're eating clean food, natural food. Okay? Um, humans are full of dirt and toxicity and toxins and chemicals, which actually promote deficiency because it gets in the way of the absorption, digestion, and or utilization of the, the food 
and the nutrients we eat in the food. So it's essential to notice everyone. It's extremely most spiritual to do this. Now, the other elements that stop people from eating a raw vegan diet, and at least raw living food, uh, is denial. People, people don't want to face the inconvenient truth of facing food addiction. And they want to, like, there's almost like a second psyche in us. We just want to defend and protect what we're addicted to, our habits. We want to defend our bad habits. We, we don't want to, like, face and change our, our, our addictions and habits. Like, which could, like, it's only when we have enough misery and sickness that we want to change our addictions. For example, if you're in an abusive, addictive relationship, or if you're a cocaine addict, or heroin addict, or if you're eating like processed junk cooked foods, it's only when any of these people have enough, enough misery, hardship, and bad experiences, like and negative consequences from these things, will we really want to change. But even then, it's so hard because of one bad information, not enough education, information is true on this topic. Two, because of the power of habit and addiction, it's, it's chemically and brain neurotransmitterly affects us. And three, lack of support and understanding from other people who generally encourage, like, they, 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 they're just not informed or educated, everyone, they're disempowered. And another reason why people don't change is because they're, they're, they're lacking nutrients and they have deficiencies. So, like, let's say you're deficient in simple sugars, which the body likes. If we do not eat enough fruits, we will crave our old food that we got the, the sugars from, which is complex carbohydrates, which is basically starch, root vegetables, Potatoes, like um, potatoes, rice, uh, all this sort of stuff to starch, which isn't optimal for us whatsoever, everyone. Of course, it keeps us alive, but it doesn't keep us strive, striving. Mm. So I don't have any bad feelings towards any of this. I just want to educate you. For me, this is all fun and games, everyone. I love it. I like it. I don't mind. And I self-love and accept myself for where I am, where I was, and where I'm going to be. It's all good with me. I don't have any bad, like, heavy triggers about this. I don't know, I'm upset about this. But at the same time, I acknowledge it. To not acknowledge it is to deny it, which is disempowering. To acknowledge it, to face it head on in truthfulness and love and compassion and acceptance and understanding and peace and patience is very beautiful and empowering, everybody. So there's many ways to tackle this. It doesn't have to be from a disempowered place. It doesn't have to be from a negative space. It can be a fun space, and that's the way I'd recommend it, a light-hearted and fun space. Learn from people like me, the Mangotarian, Dr. Morse, John Rose is my, my new favorite. Um, there's so many people out there who are talking about this type of thing and this exact thing. So if you're spiritual, I'd highly recommend learning about diet and chemistry and biochemistry and biophotons and and how the physics and the electricity, the electromagnetism of our food, the aura, you know? It, so many spiritual people I see, they're eating junk food or even like they're just not optimizing on a raw vegan diet, which is full of nutrients. So right now I'm on day one of a juice feast. The last five days have been all raw, no cravings, easy peasy, fun, laughter and games. And I've been, I've been filling in my nutritional gaps from just eating fruits only and cooked foods like on and off in the last while the last year or so i've been focusing again on the greens which i've really learned that are very full of minerals and nutrients that we do not necessarily get in adequate amounts in the fruits which is our number one calorie source okay um so enjoy the journey eat the fruits and for everyone almost everybody has a damaged body everyone damaged organs and that's not a bad or a sad thing to say everyone there's nothing wrong with admitting this it's only when you face the truth with love, compassion, and acceptance, can you be happy and have fun helping yourself, loving yourself. When you eat raw living, fruit-based diet, raw food, vegan diet, everyone, you get to nourish your mind and your brain. I have a better memory. My memory is sharper than it's been in a long time now from just having more green smoothies and juice every day. I, I've, actually, I've actually stopped having green smoothies in favor of juice. And now is my, my first day. I've had nothing but juice today. Um, I had watermelon juice, and I had some 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 melon. I had a dandelion juice. I had a juice with um, uh, grapes, cantaloupe, and um, and some carrots. But you know, get the greens into you, get the juices into you. So I recommend the juice. I recommend green smoothies. I recommend fruits, and I recommend eating your greens. But better than eating your greens and and eating the fruits 
if you have a damaged body, which most people have some sort of issues, it could be there's so many, the list goes on and on. Everyone look at any sickness and disease, there's two causes of disease toxicity and malnourishment. And malnourishment is you're lacking nutrients. And the most important thing is getting rid of the toxins because toxins even help you impair your digestion, absorption, or utilization of the nutrients. So you need to fix your organs through cleansing your lymphatic system, which is the sewer system. The doctors do not learn about the sewer system in the body, which is that the system got to do related to disease. It's related to toxicity. The lymph system is not taught in school, neither is nutrition in the medical school. So the powers that be control the medical system, the, the pharmaceutical industry, and the media. And if you're going, to, you have to empower yourself with knowledge. You cannot make like empower decisions if you do not have the knowledge. Knowledge is essential. Okay. Now, trust me, everyone. I've got 5,000 people following me on Facebook for like around five years now. I lose a friend every few days because somebody leaves Facebook or someone doesn't like my post anymore, okay? But I've made a lot of YouTube videos now, 1,500. Um, Heidi says, in addition to a raw vegan diet, what steps could someone take to heal their gut health? I just recommend going on a juice feast. Go on a juice feast, stop eating. That's the number one way to clean the toxins and nourish yourself. If you're on a juice feast, you can juice more fruits and greens and even root vegetables like carrots if you feel like it then you can ever eat in a day so and when you stop eating solids you save so much energy that you have so much energy to cleanse so you're not putting in the wrong food you're not putting in any food that's step two saving loads of energy and that energy goes clean cleansing and detoxifying and another thing Eating nutrients support elimination of heavy metals and toxins. For example, cilantro or parsley, spirulina or chlorella. These bind with heavy metals and tra help to transport them safely out of the body without causing disturbances, irritation or detoxification symptoms or even potentially like, you know, disturbances, okay? So I highly recommend the juice feast. That's on day one. I'm going to keep doing lots of juice days in my life. I want to... I want to accumulate days and days and days, weeks and weeks, 10, 20 days, 30, 40, 50, 100 days, even maybe a thousand days of juicing in the next few few days, weeks, months and years. I'd, I'd call it very astute to take food breaks, even potentially do the, what's called intermittent fasting or one meal a day, um, where you limit your eating hours of the day so you have a digestive break for up to 16 to 20 hours a day. So eat between, like let's say, between two to six hours of the day, even two to eight or more starting off as your body um, as your body adapts. Um, so for all of my Facebook spiritual friends, listen up, please. Go on a juice feast, get a juice, or even get a blend of new green smoothies to start off with. Eat less late and eat less often. Eat, limit your eating window, and when you're not eating, have fresh, squeezed, raw living vegan juices. I'm telling you, you're gonna have an improvement in your liver, your kidneys, your bladder, your gallbladder, your t if you're a man, your testes, your prostate, if you're a woman, your ovaries, your the vaginal health, candida in men or women, urinary tract diseases, your skin is going to glow after you start to nourish and detoxify. Eczema and psoriasis, another red, flaky, irritable conditions of the skin will go away as you cleanse and nutrify. You're going to have a much better mood, more energy. You're going to need much less sleep as you do what I'm saying in this video. You're going to have a better mood. You're going to be better in your business, more productive, less time wasting the cravings and addictions and denial and justifications of your bad habits. You're going to have that time spare and that energy and that wellness and higher vibration spare to make more money, make better relationships, attract your soulmate, live the life of your dreams, everybody. So do not like leave out our species-specific diet in a state of denial. I'm just putting it, putting it forward point blank to you. You have so much better, happier, healthier life. And peace of mind. Do you know that like one, one, um, here's a story for you. One priest or reverend or pastor, I don't know what he was exactly, but he used to, um, he used to give obviously everyday mass to his congregation. After like around three or five days on the juice, he's maybe five days. <laughs> he came back to one of my favorite educators called John Rose and said, John, why am I in like much better mood with the um, the congregation? Like they, I'm, I'm less grumpy, I'm less narky with them. <laughs> and John and me, I'm saying to you, because toxins irritate you, they annoy you, they make you feel angry, upset, or frustrated. Toxins and malnourishments is a pain in the ass for your body, mind, spirit. That's why it's not spiritual whatsoever to neglect this information and to pretend it's not true, just because it's inconvenient or the or the fake. Or 
news told by the old world order you want to keep us sick and tired and suppressed tell you so um yeah he's naturally less cranky and grumpy that's the way it is with humans too like the, with the rest of us who aren't pastors or priests or reverends we're we're a human biological body too so um yeah that's the way it is folks so anyway, my name is Owen Fox. I do life consultations of body, mind, spirit, physical, mental, emotional. I consider myself to be excellent or very good, at the very least, in countless topics related to spirituality, soulmate relationships, empowerment, abundance, presence, peace of mind, and spiritual teachings that you read in so many books. I've read countless books in the last 13 years, thousands of YouTube videos. I do consultations. So if you want one-to-one -one help at any of this, including physical diet, addiction, abusive relationships, blah, blah, blah. It's a serious topic. I've been walk to walk. I've been, been, there, been there. I'd love to help you. So send me a personal message. I'm going to leave three links in the description box below, above, and even in the comments box below. Videos and my website and links to empower you, to help you. Um, so I have two books, I do consultations and I have a, a herb store to empower and to, to help you, okay? So they've been part of my passion for many years. Um, otherwise, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook and I'd be more than happy to help you with my general posts. But I can't help specifically everybody with deep issues as they message me every day. Like, do book a consultation and, and private message me or email me. I have my website, owenfox.org, linked above. Um, my herb store is higherselfherbs.com. And I'll leave a link to my YouTube channel, which is just simply type in my name on Google or YouTube, Owen Fox, and you'll find me easily. I'm up there at the top of the search engines. So, anyway, everyone, sincerely from my heart, it doesn't have to be a struggle. I want to help you. I make free content because I love and care for people. And I've suffered in the past, and now I'm inspired to help others who may be suffering. Simple as that. No, no fluff. Take care, everyone. Lots of love and have a nice day. Life's precious and very short. And when you do these things, everyone, you're in for a treat and you're going to be so much happier in all areas of life. You deserve it. You're worthy. And be a pioneer. Be a hero. Be an inspirer. Be a leader. It's okay. And I, if for people who find it hard or it's difficult or struggle with family members or other people when they're doing stuff like diet change or detoxing or cleansing or juicing, contact me. I'm very good. I know how to, I know how to do that. I've... I've got very good at that. I don't have any issues with anyone. I know how to speak from an empowered, compassionate, loving space that helps people to connect and understand each other with mutual respect instead of people taking power trips or telling you what to do. No one has the right to tell you what to do, everyone. So don't get this hard by other people who don't know stuff about this. So, anyway. so do contact me if you're interested. Otherwise, so share this video, give us a like and all this other stuff and share with your friends and family. So much fun, everyone. See ya.